Over the past few years, I have used both Slack and Teams for my business. And while they are both great chat apps for business and they have a lot in common, there are weaknesses and strengths of both softwares. So in today's video, I'm gonna be helping you decide which is better for your business, Slack or Teams. So stick around and I'll teach you everything you need to know. First of all, let's talk about some factors that you should consider. At the core, Teams and Slack are just business messaging apps which help teams to stay in touch and organize file sharing projects and that kind of thing. So choosing which one you should pick will come down to a few things. First of all is the tech stack that you are already using. If you have an existing tech stack of tools embedded into how you work as a team, then Slack is going to be a great option. Now, if you have a Microsoft focused organization and all your tools are built on Microsoft, then Teams is going to integrate a lot easier with all of your software and Teams would be a better option. Now, it also depends if you or how you communicate with Teams, um, with your team, essentially. So if you use audio and video calls a lot, then Teams is going to be a lot better for supporting that, as you can see here. But if you tend to communicate through messages, channels, things like that, then Slack is an amazing tool for it. And lastly, how big is your organization? Now, both app can take as many people as you want, but Teams tends to be better at scale in terms of user experience. So now that we've covered the factors or the initial factors, let's talk about the main differences between them. So first of all, Microsoft Teams has a more streamlined interface. Everything seems to be in one place and it seems to have the chats in team structure, which makes it kind of easier to get set up and started with. Now Slack, it has things called channels, which can be a little bit confusing and the organization isn't really as simple or a streamline. So that's something to take into account with the two different softwares. In terms of the commands, Slack has a lot more advanced commands. They have something called the Slack bot, and this will allow you to do various commands which are very helpful. For example, if you do something like slash remind, and then you set a reminder, that will then remind you at a date and time to do a certain activity, which is super useful as a reminder for different activities. And there's also a lot of other commands that you can go ahead and look at. Now, Teams does not have this kind of uh, option. You can only create specific ones that Teams has already got. So the command list on Teams is definitely not as good as Slack's overall. Now, let's talk about the value for larger teams. Slack can accommodate more users per organization than Teams. But once you go outside of the free plan, it gets a little bit expensive compared to Teams. So if you have a big team, then Microsoft Teams is going to be a lot more affordable. And you can go ahead and look at the differences between the pricing here. But if you've got a big team, then Teams is just better overall for that. The pricing plans, Microsoft Teams starts at $4 a month per person. And that's for the sort of standard product. And for $6 a month, you're going to get the Microsoft 365 basic plan as well, which includes all of the core Microsoft services. In terms of Slack, it starts at $8.75 a month per person. So you can see it's almost double the price. Now this is for the pro plan and you only get Slack. The pro plan doesn't come with anything that Slack has to offer. So if you want all of the features, you're going to have to keep upgrading, which overall is going to become a lot more expensive with a big team. Now let's talk about the cool functionality. Microsoft Teams has much better cool functionality. You have an amazing area where you can do video calls, um, and there's a lot of features that they've been developing like that for years and years and years. So this overall is much better for uh, video calls if that's a regular thing you do. Slack doesn't really focus on video calls at all. 
and they have something called huddles. And on the free plan, you're only going to get a one to one calls. So something to take into account is that even with the expensive plan, you're going to have worse features for the video call section than just the basic plan on teams. So if you need that, then go ahead and pick teams in terms of in terms of uh, productivity apps. Slack has way more of these. Teams has better calls, but Slack has a lot of apps um, which make it a little bit easier to use. So productivity, you've got things like in progress. You've got all of these different things you kind of get inside of the um, things like Monday, Trello, all of those. That will be inside of Slack. So those are some pretty cool features inside of it that you can go ahead and do. Now, both apps are developing their own AI features. But Teams seems to be more robust for now. They have um, a lot better features, it seems, but the Slack one is a little bit more affordable in terms of the AI features. With Slack, you can generate daily recaps, um, things like that, which you can give like daily reports overall of what you've been doing. And Teams AI is with Copilot, which is their uh, AI they use for everything, essentially. And this can be covered across the whole Microsoft suite, which is super useful. So with whatever you're doing on the Microsoft um, ecosystem, you're going to have the AI. So Slack versus Teams, which one should you pick? Well, it depends on your specific needs. So here is my general conclusion and overview. Microsoft Teams is a better option if you already pay for Microsoft Office and you want team chat and you want a tightly integrated system that has Microsoft apps and excellent calling and meeting features. Teams tends to be better for larger businesses where some of its strengths might go unused with a smaller team. Slack is a better option overall if you want a flexible app which allows you to choose apps add-ons and use messaging more than calls. Slack's overview or Slack's overall vibe is a little bit more fun and startup-esque I would say and it allows you to focus on productivity and kind of a startup culture I guess you could say. So comparing the two of them can seem a little bit complicated because they're not directly the same and there's a lot of different features and pros and cons about both of them. But they both have free plans, so you can go ahead and try both of them out for free before you go ahead and decide which one you want to put your business on. But if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to go down below and like and subscribe. Comment down below that it helped, and I'll see you in the next one.